Hi again, welcome to another video, and this is a tinkering video. Last time I said it was going to be a tinkering video, it turned into an update. But I'll try and show you a bit of action in this video, and I might as well start with showing you what Laura's doing. So I'll just turn you around. So, you can probably see what she's doing. She's sanding down some filler on the Mercedes Sprinter side loading door. Uh, I'm not looking for a perfect job, just uh, sort of... Otherwise she wouldn't have given it to me. <laughs> Well, you don't think you're doing a perfect job? No. Uh, but we've just put some filler in, just to sort of get out the weld marks, really. But I'm not too worried um, if it sort of comes out a bit like that sort of thing. I just want to, just the voids, really. Just fill the little voids up. So that's what she's working on. Are you enjoying yourself, Laura? It's a bit too bad. It's been a rainy day today, so we haven't been able to go to work. Um, I'm going to I'll show you in here. And I've actually been thinking lately, I never do the pitch what a lot of people do, um, saying, oh, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button, um, share the video. Uh, yeah, it'll all help if you do that. Um, so yeah, anybody that watches, if you yeah, sub, like, it's all this sort of stuff, what you're seeing here, and hopefully we can get one of the vehicles out on the road pretty soon. At the moment, all you're doing is staring at the side step on my Mercedes Sprinter. And if you look there, there's a massive gray hole there which I've cut a load of rust out of. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. I'm cutting some patches to weld into there. So I'll take you over to the bench to show you them. Not very exciting, but also I have just took delivery of something else for the van. So I'll show you them as well. So I'm quite a mess at the moment on the bench and that, but um, I will give you a bit of a tidy up later on or when I'm next up here. So I can just find enough room to do what I want to do. Um, I cut these patches the other day for the sidestep and I think the metal was too thin. So I've got these bits. They are actually a bit rusty, surface rust, but I will just clean them off. That's what the grinder's there for now. And I've cut some uh, thicker metal now. So that's two of the pieces I made templates for. I'll have to, yeah, um, grind them off and shape them a bit and that. Um, here we have, a, and I've got one for each side, a bottom panel for the passenger door this is and i've got one for the driver's door as well they come today so um i was just having a quick look at that and along that line there it um fits into the sort of groove dip bit on the door so that'll make it quite easy to cut the old bit off and join this one in because i can join it in that dip bit we'll go and look at the van and i can explain that a bit more so if you didn't see it in previous videos this door is a right state. I started to grind it off and it's got holes there, massive hole there, all rusty there. Um, so I decided to buy the new panel and that fits. I'll just put it on sort of roughly best I can at the moment. And that, yeah, fits in there. So that's going to fit pretty nicely in there. So I'm just going to cut it along there and then join it along there. So I'll get all that bottom part, rusty bit all off and then weld this piece in. I've got to do a bit of repair underneath. Um, you can buy a repair panel for that, but I'm just gonna patch that because um, that was just more money. I've spent a lot on this van already, but putting that in is gonna sort that problem out. So I've got one of these for each side because I don't think the driver's side is very good either. Um, so that'll be a, another job done. I don't think that's gonna take too long really because it's different to the side loading door. It's just undoes and shut. The side loading door has to slide and then fit into place. Um, so this should be pretty easy and I may even cut it off today and just temporarily put this in place. I'll see how far I get. But firstly, I want to get them patches in, in the step. That's the area from underneath the side step. So I have to bring that side out a little bit and then put a plate over there. And there's a little curved bit at the bottom as well. So I'm just going to, yeah, fit them plates in and then I'll show you when I'm welding them in. It's about an hour on now. I'm making good progress and Laura's making good progress as well. She's got a lot of this door sanded down now. It hasn't got to be perfect inside because it's just going to be painted with some uh, primer. And then uh, when the outside of the door is painted, it will just be blown over with a white. I've got some Lecla Green TI, which we're just going to brush on that when it's done. And then flatten it down at some point, but as long as it's got some protection on it at the moment, that's all I'm bothered about because I want to get the door back on so I can get some filler on the outside of the door, the most important bit. But that door is really solid now. I'm really pleased with that. 
hasn't come out bad at all. Uh, I'll show you what I've been doing inside and I have done some welding, but I'm gonna show you me doing this last plate. I've decided I'm gonna do it a little bit different to how it was. So I think I can probably just fit a plate across the back now. Uh, but if you can see there, I'll take that. See there, I've done it in separate pieces. I've done one bit there, just put that piece in and then one bigger plate to fill that in. And that should be okay. Welds, some weld is okay, some not so good. They're a bit high, but I'm grinding them off, it doesn't matter. To be honest, I've been going pretty quick with it. I don't want to mess around too much. I just want the plates in there um, so it can be ground down, um, sealed, and then, yeah, I can put the step back in. But also, I've got to put a length along here as well. Uh, something I didn't realise I had to do it until yesterday. But that part will be done today. Um, so, yeah, I can grind that down and I'll probably let Laura finish that off and seam seal it and put some under seal over it. And that'll be job done on that part. But like I said, I'm going to show you me welding the last plate in. I'm just going to get that made now and then, yeah, we'll get it welded in. So, you can see I've got the plate tacked in. I was going to show you it fitting in place, but it was difficult because I'm going to have to tap it in round curves as I go. So, I've tacked it along there, 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 and a bit there. So, what I'm going to do now is go down that side, right down there, so I get that in, and then I can push that top bit in then there, and then I can probably start to weld round it all, apart from that bit there where I have to tap from underneath out because there's a curve there. So I'll just get some of these done down here and then that'll give it some strength then. So I now have all along the bottom done and up the side there. So I'm gonna to have to tap it from underneath to push that bit in a little bit. But actually I'm just gonna just double check something. Yeah, that can be tapped a bit. And then I'll tap that to it a bit. So we've got that meeting up now. So I'm just gonna weld down there. So that's gone in quite nicely. Them welds are quite good down there. It's because it's new metal against new metal. Uh, I'm not welding to any part of the van there. That's just the plate there and the plate there. So welds much nicer like that. So what I'm gonna do now off camera, I'm gonna just tap everything back into place like that bit there, that bulgy bit there and the bit at the top. And then I'll just show you me finishing it off. So you can see now I'm getting round it. I've done all down there, all down there, all round there along there um, so I'm just gonna weld along the top there now I've got to fill a little bit in there in the corner there and then I'm gonna do a few bits from underneath but I can't really show you that but I'll show you me going along that final stretch there on the inside
So there we have it. Inside, it's almost done. Like I said, just got to fill that little bit in there and a few bits from underneath and I've nearly done under there. I've just got to weld down where it meets another part underneath. I'll show you all that at the end when I've done it. But yeah, I'm going to get them bits done now. So we're nearly done for today with our tinkering up the unit. It's a Monday, so usually we ain't up here on a Monday, uh, but because of the rain and that, yeah, we come up here to get on with this van a bit. Um, so you'll see this probably on a totally different day because I don't upload them on the day I film them, or well, very rarely. Um, but anyway, uh, we're getting on quite well, really. Um, Laura's sanded the door down on the inside. It has just got a bit of filler in a few little areas around there. She's gonna do that now. Finger. Where? No, I just lost my finger. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realise I'd lost the end of the glove. Um, so round there, she's just going to put a bit in now so she can sand it next time she comes. Then that can have some Someone. primer on because it hasn't got to be that good. You don't only really see that part, if any of it really, and up there, you see. But none of this you see because it's all sort of hidden when you undo the door. But we're making good progress with the door. I want to get that back on by the weekend. Um, under here, never showed you this before. I said I had to do some welding before under here. Uh, well, I land up going over um, this side as well with the welds. So that's gone in there and that's pretty good. That is, it's really nice and solid. Um, so that's all done. I'm going to put some seam seal around that now. I'm not going to worry about grinding the back anymore now because I think that'll be fine. Seam seal and then a bit of under seal next time we come up. That should um, keep that okay. I'll show you inside. You saw me welding in here. Well, some of it. I did fill in a bit there. It didn't go that great really, but it's it's okay. It's um, it's filled the gap. I didn't bother putting a bit of metal in there. I should have done. I landed up just trying to fill it in with weld and it kept blowing through. But anyway, I'm quite happy with that. And it's all hidden under the plastic step anyway. Um, side step that fits in here. So I'm just going to seam seal around that now. So that's um, set by the next time I come up. And then um, that can be um, painted over. I said the other side put under seal over. I will probably put some red oxide on it first. Um, just to give it a bit of added protection. My next job when I come up here will be this part here because I started bashing it with a screwdriver and I started getting holes. Then there's that big hole. It's okay up there. And it seems to be okay here as well. So I'm just going to have to cut out a bit like that and put a piece in there. At least it's a nice, well, fairly flattish piece. So that shouldn't be too hard. And that means I can get everything painted around there then and get the step back in and just clean the sill up and do any odd bits I have to do around there. It's a bit rusty around there, but I might just clean that up and vac tan that um, rather than try and put a new lip in it because the rubber goes over it anyway. We'll just see what we do with that. But getting that piece done there is a big plus because that was a bit more awkward because I had to cut it back. So I had to sort of extend it out again with some new metal and then bring it back flat again. So the step will fit in okay, the plastic piece. Um, and yeah, it does, I've tested it, so it's all good. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. So it's bye from me. And goodbye from me. And we'll see you again soon.